What's up, guys, and welcome to this POV review. My auto's up and out. Mars, 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 Mars is leaving with the Taken GTS, uh, and obviously, our Lurch does not fit into that supercar. Bye bye. Again. So that leaves me testing this car. This is the Lamborghini Gallardo, the original one. This is a 2005 car and it's not the E-Gear. Cool car. It's not the E-Gear guys, it's not. Like 99.9996% went for the E-Gear, which was a 16,000 euro extra in the Netherlands. Uh, and nobody, nobody wanted the poor man's manual. But thankfully a few did and this is one of them. So this is the classic Italian supercar aluminium gated six shifter and it's what this video is all about. Oh, and it's the five liter, not the 5.2. Uh, it's not an L, it's a pre-LP car. So that's what the, the Lambo enthusiasts call it. So after the facelift of the Gallardo, they start calling their cars LP something and then something. So like a 564 stands for 560 horsepower four wheel drive. So this would be a 500 for 500 horsepower, five liter V10 with four wheel drive. Now this car belongs to Ryko from 13th Concepts, which you probably know that company. Uh, they have wrapped several cars of ours and they have always done an amazing job at a very very decent price so if you want your car wrapped really well and for a good price go to 13th concepts so Ryko is someone with a very good taste because it's very similar to mine <laughs> and he put this rotiform wheels on there to make it like this porn look so we have Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires, very, very skinny tires as you can see. And <laughs> this is just ridiculous. When I saw the car, I thought this is going to be very painful and undrivable. But that's not the case, which really surprised me. So we have this like army green wrap, which looks absolutely awesome on this Gallardo. <laughs> completely love it we have a super leggera carbon fiber rear wing which is just beautiful and just two round exhausts uh, this is a simon exhaust so it's a little louder than stock because it's a german exhaust and they have to meet all these regulations and laws so it's not like a straight piped five liter which should be the best sound ever because that's the case with the five liter it's the best sounding lambo engine well it's it's the best sounding v10 because as you might know there has also been the 5.2 the lp 560-4 let me show you the engine because i have found a lot of info about it and that's thanks to re performance in the uk who have done many videos about this engine so go check them out in the top right corner thanks for all the info guys and the great content on these cars oh well that's really high both pitch wise and length wise all right let me tell you all about this car this is a 5 liter V10. Now, there have been many, many wrong facts out there about these V10 engines. First one is that the 5.2 is a bored 5 liter. That's not the case. They are very, very different engines. Uh, this is the original engine for the Gallardo. So the 5 liter with two throttle bodies, uh, 5 liter displacement, and it's an even firing V10. So you have two cylinder banks, two straight fives, you could say, and they are both firing at the same time. The 5.2 liter was an old firing V10, so it sounds like two five cylinders instead of one 10 cylinder. Now these throttle bodies, they are really, really sensitive, especially because this is an early car. So you really should have this checked before you buy one. 
and the cats are also a big issue with these cars uh, because they are really really old cats and when this engine gets hot and it gets really really hot it like burns the cats to a dust which is not a problem when you're on throttle because you will push it out of the exhaust but once you let off the throttle you get negative pressure in the exhaust line and it sucks in the dust into the engine so that's what you don't want so get rid of the stock cats or go for some nice modern sports cats so that was it for the engine and apparently if you straight pipe this engine it's one of the best sounding engines ever made well it already is but should be even more insane with a straight exhaust which is often the case oh i just love this detail just have a look at this black on black gallardo logo as if we are in back to the future it's such a retro design this is a 2005 car but it looks like it's from 1985 looking at this logo hope you guys can see that why did they do black on black that's really weird so this car it's an imperfect Gallardo and I love it because otherwise I would be really really careful with it not too many kilometers not too hard on the throttle you know oh that turnover sound like the moment you just you decide to give up okay it's not going to start it starts that's such a cool sound let's just get driving because the driving experience in a manual Gallardo is just ridiculous now it's even better than with the Audi R8 V10 I reviewed with the gated manual because this <laughs> has a very thin shaft and a big bowl yes i went there and the audi has a shorter shaft uh, with a thicker weird shape shifter okay that's really weird but in the end it means that they do really feel different this is really that it classic italian supercar feel that you just want in a car like this i just can't believe so many people went for the e-gear uh, the single clutch uh, quirky jerky unit that gave a lot of problems and was 16,000 euros more expensive and nowadays everyone is going back to the manual because this is just classic technique uh, it was the same like 50 years ago as it is right now and that's not the case with auto boxes they just keep getting better and better and better which is why old auto boxes like the e-gear are worthless they really are let's go and drive it let's just enjoy this so zero to 100 it should do according to lambo 4.2 seconds for the manual, the e-gear did four seconds dead. So not that much quicker. But it's really, really hard to get that number. Um, this car has done nearly 91,000 kilometers. A few horses may have escaped during those kilometers, but I did a 4.8 with it decent launch I think but that's always the case with manual supercars it's really really hard getting a good launch getting a good first and second shift but that does mean you are trying you are perfecting it you are working it and it's not like with a dual clutch where you will hit factory claim numbers every single time it's the perfect world and it's a very very boring world perfection is boredom you may want to write that down i am going to try and launch it that was a safe launch but a great launch nonetheless maybe not performance wise but experience wise 
Everything is great. Okay, have a listen. Have a listen to that metally sound. Especially from fifth to fourth. Here we go. Oh, that's like a bolt action rifle, right? Oh man, why is it that I get such a beep when I do that? Now, this is not the most practical car because my camera gear is in the front, which means the car cover is right here. So I have a G-meter. A lot of G's. I've been driving this car for five days now and I'm as excited as I was on the first day. Now, Raiko, the owner of this car, has my M3, and I said to him, okay, just keep the car, I'll keep yours, and we'll call it even. But, now, I have to return it. I have to return the car, and I don't want to. I honestly love it. Uh, I already told him, but if you want to sell it at some point, uh, don't use the internet, use your phone and call me. Okay, let's take it to the Autobahn and enjoy all the gears of this lovely V10 powered supercar. So we have nearly half a tank of petrol and we can do 130 kilometers. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Greta is going to like this one. Sorry. Okay, from second gear onwards. It's such a nice sensation getting those shifts right because it's not really easy because of the H pattern. The crooked shifts are some takes some getting used to and takes some practice. Downshifting. Downshifting again. It's an imperfect world, as you just saw. And I love it. Wow. That is quick. Now this manual version will do 309 kilometers an hour. The auto will do 100,000 euros but I really expect them to go up in value now the LP cars the LP 564s uh, are way more expensive well they're newer I'm really screwing this up they are newer they are later they are lower mileage but this 5 liter, because of its even firing order, is the one you want driving experience wise. It's really that V10 Formula 1 sound. And when you treat it right, it's a very reliable engine. According to the guys from RE Performance. So 
the reputation this 5 liter has may be a bit incorrect. But that's good news because that means it's undervalued. So, if you have a 100 grand lying around, this is the destination for it. number 100 to 200 but it feels a lot faster than that and for me the experience is always a lot more important than the actual performance number yeah we have to refuel at just under half a tank <laughs> what a car what a car Once more. Yeah, you have to get into a rhythm. And when you nail the shifts, it is. Perfect. It might have some space. Was the rev limiter at 8,000 rpm? The 5.2 will do 9,000, but this sounds better, weirdly. Get over the bumps and all throttle. the V10 Audi R8 with the manual it, it, it really is and it's cheaper so it's all good news today well the only bad news is that it's on steel brakes and I don't think you can get the Gallardo with ceramics so they started selling these in 2003 and they stopped in 2013 so if I'm not mistaken it competed with the Ferrari 360 its successor the 430 and its successor the 458 how cool is that just an old school manual lambo i mean i've driven the cheapest lambo now the gallardo manual and the most expensive high-tech one the gallardo performante uh, i like this better for me, this is it. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Is my GoPro still working? Yes, it is. And that one is also working. This is a good day. Thank you guys for watching. Go check out this video. Subscribe, please do so. And go check out the playlist of reviews. Bye, guys.